Enduring Freedom 12.
On behalf of Major General James C. McConville, Commanding General of the 101st Airborne Division, Air Assault, and Fort Campbell, and Command Sergeant Major Alonzo J. Smith, Division and Post Sergeant Major, welcome to our Welcome Home Ceremony. This morning, we have gathered to give a scrim eagle recognition to the returning soldiers of the 2nd Brigade Combat Team and the 716th MP Battalion. At this time, we would like to extend a sincere welcome to our distinguished guests and family members of our returning soldiers. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation given by Chaplain Megan Hodge, the second brigade chaplain. Let us pray. Almighty God, we come before you this morning and we thank you for this beautiful time. Father God, it is an amazing time to rejoice that the soldiers have come home. Father, we thank you for their safety, we thank you for their families, and Lord, we pray that the next few days, months, and years with their family back home, Lord, will be a time of great blessing. Father, thank you for them, and we pray these things in your mighty name. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commanding General of the 101st Airborne Division, Air Assault, and Fort Campbell, Major General James C. McConville. Well, welcome home and, and congratulations on a job extremely well. Please join me in giving them all a hand. two units, Team Strike and the 716th MPs. These two units play an absolutely critical mission in Afghanistan. People ask what winning is in Afghanistan. Winning in Afghanistan is enabling the Afghan security forces to secure their country. And that is precisely what these soldiers did. These soldiers worked closely with the Afghan army, the Afghan border police, the Afghan police, and they've given them the capacity to stand up and secure their country. And I've been over there, and I've seen the results, the progress that they have made, and they have made a significant difference, and we are very, very proud of what they did in Afghanistan. Please join me and give them a hand again. Recognize Strike Six is who is here with us tonight. Colonel Dan Walrat epitomizes what a screaming eagle. a screaming eagle soldier leader is. He led from the front. He was there with his soldiers. And he never quits, and he's back here with today, and we're just damn proud of him. Air Assault. I want to thank the families and friends, and there's a whole bunch of you out here today. And I want to thank you for your unwavering support over the last many months. I see a lot of children here. It means we had a lot of single parents uh, raising our children while they were gone. And we couldn't do what we do without you. So let me give you a hand for your selfless service. <laughs> the soldiers that stand before me, you know, combat affects everybody. And as you come back, we're going to spend the next couple of weeks on reintegration. If you're having a tough time or even with the families as you work this way through, don't be afraid to get help. We got help there, and it's there to make sure we all come back together and we can work through this. And let me close. You know, years from now, people are going to ask you what you did during the war on terrorism, what you did when your country was attacked. And you can now proudly pop out your chest and tell them that you served your country, that you were the one part of that 1% that served their country in combat. And so on behalf of all the Scream Eagles, we are extremely proud of your service, how well you represented this great division. You certainly have lived up to the legacy, Air Assault.
Attention! Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the Screaming Eagle song and the Army song.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and give a screaming round of applause to your returned soldiers. Strike advisory teams came home today, all right, and 151 of the soldiers uh, returned to uh, their family members, as you can see them walking back here, and uh, are back here at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, all 
All right, and uh, what they did over there in RCEs for their nine-month deployment was uh, transition uh, combat and military power over to the Afghan National Security Forces. No easy tips, and I got to tell you, you know, the uh, the men and women of the Strike Brigade who were who were selected and picked to be part of these advisory teams, you know, uh, they, they did such an outstanding job, you know, coming back home and, 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 and ready to embrace their families during the holiday season. You, know, you could have picked a better time, and and. Uh, Talking with them and hanging out with them tonight, uh, you really get to see their emotions come out. And uh, it's a real honor to serve by their side and, and to, to watch them uh, uh, really uh, make a difference in this world. I, I got to tell you, it's, uh, it's a real honor to be here and uh, you guys are very lucky to actually witness this, that's for sure.